How are you doing? This is May the S Force be with you. We're going to continue our talks on creating custom fields. Now, I notice we've kind of started with a little more complex fields. We did create a pick list for patient and a multi pick list for um, doctor, but let's go ahead and create some more simple fields for uh, patient and doctor. Um, so we're going to go into our setup here and go into um, and the create field objects and into the patient field let's create now if you notice you can click here on the label for the patient object or you know our connection object is a detail of the master object patient either one of these you can click into it'll go to the patient object and let's go ahead and create a new custom field for patient right down here custom field you notice we've got a pick list already let's create a new custom field and um, let's just create a checkbox. Now a checkbox is just a boolean value, true or false. It can be checked or unchecked. Let's click next and um, we're just going to call this um, active. So if the patient is currently active, the default value um, you can have that checked or unchecked. Let's make the default value checked. So we're going to assume that when we put a patient in they're active and then when they unenroll they'll become uh, uh, unactive. So let's go ahead and click next. And um, we're going to make this visible for everyone. And then maybe read only for the partner user. OK. And then click next. And we're going to add that to the patient layout. OK. And, uh, and then that's all there is. That field is created. We're going to save this and let's go ahead and jump right into creating another custom field. So I'm going to click Save and New. Boom. So let's create another custom field for the patient. Um, here we go. Now we can create a, um, let's see, how about a, uh, an, uh, uh, a date create a date field for the patient um, and let's call this um, let's say date enrolled enrollment date how about that and and I just keep wanting to put a T in there enrollment date enrollment date date patient was enrolled in program. All right. Um, always require a value in this field. No, we can enter a patient in the system before they're enrolled, I guess. And in the default value, default value is going to be um, equals today. Let's go ahead and show the formula editor. Um, and we can filter this down to date and time. Say we can choose today. That's um, actually we don't need the equal sign, I don't think. So we just want this equal to today. I'll go ahead and make this in caps, which is standard for uh, the syntax for the formula editor. So meaning when we create a patient or we're editing a patient, um, today's current date is going to be in there by default. Let's go ahead and check syntax. Of course, that checks out. You can check under here, no syntax errors. Now let's say I had left out the parentheses. Let's check syntax on that. Notice how for a function, uh, just like in most programming languages, you need the parentheses uh, to make that proper syntax. And we'll check that again, that's right. So um, we'll make the enrollment date um, default to today. And click next. We're gonna make that visible to everybody and read only for the partner user, just like the active. Click next we want to add that to the current layout. Okay, um, and let's save that. Um, and maybe we can make under doctor, let's go into custom objects, doctor, we want to make a notes field for doctor. So let's go ahead under here, create a new custom field for doctor. Now we can make this a text area, text, 
A text area allows 255 characters on separate lines. A regular text area, let's go ahead and see what the max is for this field. So we can just call this notes length, let's say 255. Let's see if that's going to work. Um, no default value, um, it's not required. Uh, allow duplicate values, of course. Set this field as the unique record identifier? No. Um, default value, blank. Let's click next. And you notice how it allowed that. Let's go back and see if this will take 300 um, for the length. Ooh. 300. Next. So you notice here the max is um, 255. Let's go make that 255, and that's going to be all um, on one line. It will wrap if the uh, display area for that is um, less than the amount given on one line, but we won't be able to put that on more than one line. So 255 for notes, we're going to make this visible for everybody and read only, um, I don't know, for the partner user and for the read only user, right? and click next and we'll put this on the doctor page layout so save now um, so we've made a couple of simple fields for uh, creating our custom fields I am going to make a separate video what we're gonna do now is create a um, basically for doctor and patient we're gonna have a lot of contact information address phone number email etc and uh, we already have that created for us in the contact um, object. The contact is a standard object that comes with Salesforce. So what we can do is go ahead and make um, a relationship between contact and patient and contact and doctor. And that way we won't need to duplicate a lot of those fields um, for doctor and patient like email, phone number, etc and that way um, let's say you want to track the history of patient uh, as far as the changes of their address like let's say somebody changed their phone number and it ended up not being the right phone number you want to track which user of yours um, changed that phone number or for instance let's say we emailed them or sent out a letter on a specific date and their email or address had changed you might want to be able to track what was their address at that date that you sent out the email or letter um, you're limited to a um, certain amount of fields that you set for history tracking. So um, instead of eat that up on your custom object, you can use the tracking on the contact object um, uh, for those contact information fields instead of using up um, your limited amount of fields to track history for your custom object. So in the next video, we're going to cover um, how to link a doctor and a patient to a contact record so that you can keep all of their information in that. Uh, stay tuned for more. Go ahead and comment and uh, tell me what I can do to um, make this a little more helpful to uh, improve your salesforce.com and force.com development. Thanks so much. See you next video.